Get it out there. Oh my gosh. That is who they are. Because only in the end. In fire. Two twenty-eight, twenty-three. Okay, that's not too far. That's, that's a few months away, actually. That's not too far from what I've seen. Um, you know, I really like what they did so far, though. Um, like with how they did like Callus. I don't know what he's bathing in, but like everything looks so sick. Especially like the new subclasses. Like we we saw in the picture, they did do some leaks. Like everybody was gonna leak it anyways. I knew that was gonna happen. Like nobody really cares, especially when you're like you're you're st even if it's a small like it's a small uh, content dip. It's like people starve for content very quickly. So it's like, you know, we're, I'm glad we're getting this glass tall glass of water that we could celebrate for the rest of the the few months we have. This is very very cool. There's so much new stuff to discover in Neomuna and in Neptune. And also I saw some new characters there. I'm really excited to get to know Cloud Striders and their story. Yeah. Wow. These guys are high tech. I like it. To Guardians, they're both their philosophy of life. So we've got the new like I really like the map design of this. Like they just organize it like that. I really like the little the little little drip drop drawings on the like the little side, bro. They got like like I don't know, like Apex Legends, like ventilator, whatever the hell that is on the side, bruh. Oh my gosh, this looks so coherent. Like everything here, like it, it feels meticulous. So for me, it's like to see this all in one place is just thing. I, I'm really hopeful for the future. Yes, epic. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of those um, 2005 Windows visualizers. You know, like you'd put like a music thing in the, on the screen. And it would just like do this like visual effect, and it was just like it's like something. Stood. And I was just thinking, man, like imagine it's like you know, like imagine it's just like Rick Hackus, like just like activating because he's played Titan, activating like his blades, and like just dubstep plays out, just be like, like you know, just he just like, hey, what's up, guys? Rick Kakis here, and then like fucking bangerang plays like. And just hit everybody with it, like I was just imagining that, cause like the strands, they look like, they look like like they look mini dubstep sound waves, bro. Like that, that shit kills me. Something that's it, unique about strands. How to shape it and manipulate it and use it against Callus and his forces, and you know have fun in the new. That's what I'm saying, bro. We using dubstep to fly the cities of um Cyberpunk 2077, bro. That's crazy. Full surprises. Then we had the legendary campaign. Option. Yep, this was fun. One of the best things about this was the introduction of this, making campaigns hard again. All right, that was my thing. Like that was my main selling point when I looked at Witch Queen. Like, yeah, I might have bought it or might have like left already, but for me. Like this was the this was it, bro. Cause for me, I, I didn't wanna I don't wanna steamroll through enemies, bro. Like that was my main thing with Beyond Light. Like Beyond Light, you could have carried you probably could have carried white gear and still did enough. 
maybe one exotic heavy weapon, and you'd probably be enough. Even all white, if you wanted to, all white gear. You'd probably kick some ass with that. But this, this was fun, you know? Like, it, it felt it felt challenging. Like, it felt like everything mattered. And, like, I, I would love to, to take some of you guys. Out. Sorry. I would love to take some of you guys and do this campaign all over again. See how you guys feel about it. I would love to. I heard it was a free week for y'all. So, you know, I think we might be doing a little bit more often during the stream, just helping people out and introducing people to the new world of Destiny. I think for me, that's going to be the plan. Lightfall is going to change the way that our players move, fight, and explore everywhere in Destiny. Neptune is this fantastic destination. The capital city of Neo Muna is a really fun place to explore. And it's this bright neon metropolis. There's a harbor, office buildings, an arcade. This is a city that we've made. And using Strand to traverse through it and explore it, it's going to be so exciting. There's some places that once you whip out that grappling hook, ooh, you're going to be able to explore and get to places that you could. That's what I'm saying, bro. We just, we just hooking up. We just doing a grappling hook, man. I'm just saying. It just kind of looks like dubstep lines to me. You know? We just, we grappling like, um, what's it called? We grappling like Spider-Man, you know? You grappling like, uh, what is it? We grappling like Link, yeah. Space Link. Space Link. be a kid in a candy store. Yeah. It's a capital ship and just like planted it right That's down in part of the city and it's cabal occupied territory it's a city under siege you've got this infiltrator vibe at times where you feel like a tactical team going into a skyscraper you're dealing with cabal roadblocks and patrols all throughout the city the shadow legion they provide that like characteristic cabal brute strength they're all about like volatility and power and they've been enhanced now by oh yeah technology they have these suppression devices lot. that can take away some of your super. Not gonna lie, I, I I I don't mind this actually. Like, it's about time we had like nullifier bubbles in Destiny 2, man. I've been I've been dying for that. Um, but jokes aside, I really would like a little bit of like, you know, stuff like this. I really would love that. Like, like the feeling of pressure. Like like if you could rip our abilities away and just like, you know say they, they don't matter here or something like that i would love like a like an area that just pushes that you know like yeah thing also that does look like spare rations let's see the gun kick oh no maybe truth maybe truth that looks like a truth hand cannon could be seeing a return as part of his discipleship to the witness callus has been upgraded and so the tormentors that they've brought in are these impossibly wow. huge, unstoppable behemoths. They wield scythes. They can attack from a distance. They can bring you in close. They can drain your very life force from you. They are basically embodiments of Oh, yeah, bro. They're like huge. a boss character within the battlefield. Wow. Your stomach drops. You're like, okay, I'm playing through. I'm having fun. I'm popping heads, doing this thing. And then, boom. There it is. Wow. We play an attack on Tormentor. Look at that thing, bro. That thing huge. That thing gigantic. That thing gigantes. We've got these are all a great setting for a new legendary campaign. And we're still making sure that we go through and we tweak and tune and we balance the encounters to have that right challenging level of difficulty for players. The legendary campaign was a huge hit coming out of the Witch Queen. It was the first time we had done that sort of elected difficulty where you could really test your skill and test your power. And so we're going to bring that back for Lightfall. Of course, okay. you're still going to have that higher reward tier. And we still want to make sure that you get that inside track towards being raid ready. Okay, that's good. That is good. I don't know what they're going to do for the raid. But if it's anything that's like this. For me, I kind of expect like them to use like Strand to like get to places where you may not be able to. So that... Like at least, like at least, if the class is mid, right? One person will have to like get on that plate, or one person has to use strand in order to make sure it functions. I don't know, but for me, like, you know, maybe people won't like it. But what I've seen so far is that, like, 
they're not overusing like exclusive weaponry or exclusive thing. Like they they gave like for the devoted disciple they gave void, they gave us a void weapon. Like they gave us a void weapon that only works with void subclasses. So for me, I I think that the possibility is reader's head. Like I don't think it's impossible. Um, I think hopefully, let's see. Nah, I think everything will be fine. But you know. Yeah, these look nice. See, like... Whoa. Oh, damn. Come on. Amazing. I'm super excited to dive into Strand and talk about all the new stuff that we just saw. Strand, like Stasis, is a power from the darkness. Unlike our light abilities, which are all about creation, darkness is more about consciousness. Strand is psychic energy that- I'm just saying, bruh, that this is psychic dubstep. Like, this gotta be- Like, look at those lines, bro. These are the lines you'd see as a kid, bro. These are, this is psychic dubstep, bro. Honestly, like you gonna see Rick Kakis be like, "Hey, what's up, guys? Rick Kakis, and like you know, he's just playing dubstep and just hitting everybody, bro. Oh God, that's gonna happen. Like, like look at that. That is, we we took we took the windows, we took the line from the the multimedia player, and, and stuck them into Destiny Two subclass powers, bro. Everybody was expecting corrupted, but I'm not gonna lie, this this is pretty sick. This is. This is pretty cool. So this extra dimension, this sort of matrix that connects everything together, connects all living beings and all minds. And you, the guardian, are sort of gaining the knowledge and gaining the power to peer into this alternate psychic universe and begin to pull at these threads and tug at these wires that are connecting all these living beings. When guardians learn how to use strand, it's almost like this third eye opens up. It's about peeling back the curtain of reality, taking those connections and then weaving them into new objects. That's yeah, sick. It's pretty cool to see them come Ooh. together. Like it's always been there. And now that we can tap into it, we can use it for our benefit, whether it's through movement or through damage. Strand has a grappling hook. Since you're seeing into this cosmic web, you are able to grab oh yeah that's so nice because the cosmic web exists everywhere even if i'm not gonna lie bro train riding just got so lit this is gonna be so fun like when this drops oh my gosh bro best believe i'm gonna be hooking up to the weirdest places in fact i'm gonna be hooking myself and i'm just gonna be trick shotting bro like i'm just gonna be trick shotting all day i'm gonna be pulling up Right, I'm gonna be pulling myself and I'm just gonna be pulling up to a ledge, right? And I'm pulling up to this ledge and I'm just gonna do a 360 quick scope on some fucking dragon EDC, bro. Like, I'm just gonna be doing that consistently. Like, you know what I'm saying? If there's not an object there, it will hook on to that web and pull you Yeah, bro. Just taking that idea bro, like, count your days, Drake's. Count your days. When I get this power, bro, I'm gonna just. One of you is going to get 360 headshot on God, okay? So I'm just saying, bro. Yeah. Putting that, uh, that the destiny, destiny spin, spin on it. Yep. The grappling hook initially started as part of the Hunter's Kid, right? They're all about fluid movement, rapidly traversing space, and being very agile. Wow. But as we were developing, it's like, oh, man. it's This feels like it's too much fun to, to just keep it to one class, right? So we made the call to expand the super cool oh my gosh. across all three classes. On the design side. <sighs> like these are nice. Is this like a yeah, it's like a chain whip. It would have been cool if we had a spear, but like we already have like to arc. Come up with how each of the classes interpreted this additional psychic dimension, like in their own way, right? So the warlock. They're the telekinetic master of Strand. So they're going to be able to telepathically reach into the Strand dimension, pull matter out, and weave it into this big barrage of these Strand missiles. Wherever they land, and these missiles are actually going to wow, bro. sort of reweave themselves into a new form. With the Titan, you're able to weave these claws and okay. do the area of damage around you spinning and slashing. 
that's gonna be so sick, bro. I'm not gonna lie, like. So my first thing, like, let's get it with the strat, like, like, like Warlocks get to be Morpheus, bro. You all get to be Morpheus from the Matrix. You all get to like, like, peer from the sky and just like, throw stuff at people, bro. That is crazy, bro. And then like, these Titans, they get like first. I think that the Katars fit Hunter more, but you know, Titans get psychic Katars, so. You know, y- y'all get to to slice and dice with with the power of Windows multimedia visual effects. I think that's cool, honestly. And we as hunters, we we get the lasso of truth. Um, you know, uh, you know, if you you guys need us, we're gonna come and we're gonna just engage the enemy. And if you need us, we'll we'll wrap the we'll wrap the. The, the 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 chain dagger thingy around the enemies and we're gonna find out where the witness is for you guys uh with the last of truth that we uh we uh we took from our imagination um pretty cool yeah wow okay and is swinging it as they're kind of moving around so it's like a chain whip first time I saw that even yo we got kunai with chain from Yu-Gi-Oh! Not. What do you mean? Kunai with chain. What is this? That's what we got. Kunai with chain. Oh my gosh. If anyone gets that reference, oh my gosh. Best friends. Best friends ever. Forever. It's kind of like rough space. It just blew my mind. We've learned a lot from creating our other subclasses, and we've taken those learnings about combat, about movement, about build crafting. We've put that all into Strand, and I'm so excited to see where players take it once it's out there in the wild. The changes we're making to make Destiny easier to come into, changes to how you build your characters, changes to how you see what there is to do and what there is to accomplish. Destiny item manager in Destiny 2. Let's go. It's been a long time, man. It's been it's been a few years, hasn't it, my guy? It's been a hot minute, my brother. Finally, finally. Let's go. Dim is here. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, Bungo. Thank you, Bungo King, King bro. Put on the crown, bro. Shake their hand, bro. Everybody gets a promotion. Everybody gets a promotion out here. Finally. Woo! Yeah, baby! Thank you. This, this especially, this especially is needed. Like, this especially was definitely needed. The, that Discord, that Destiny LFG Discord is full. F-U-L-L all caps so it's like this this is is late this is late onto the plate because for me like this is stuff that like mmos need from the jump this is what mmos have from the jump so if they want to call themselves an mmo they need this so i'm very glad that they added this thank you bungo for doing this thank you for being a basic mmo um yeah is a oh yeah you'll yeah the they brought it the back day. bro so they brought the, the now and you get to see this. they brought the overwatch they brought the overwatch commendations they brought the, the overwatch cheers again bro i like this honestly i like this for the main reason that like we really need like a lot of like sherpa like being a sherpa bro like I like to consider Destiny like a mini job, bro. And like having like Sherpas here is like a job on top of another job, bro. Because it's like you gotta babysit. But for people to be encouraged to be good boys, what I re- what I would really hope is that like if you're friends with someone, you shouldn't be able to spam this. Because I know someone's gonna sit there and exploit it, bro. Like you need to be having like new players legit every single day. This is exactly, exactly, Fish. Fish says, even if it gives a 10% increase in wanting to do well because of commendations, that makes working hard better. 
on the dot, on the nail. I wish I could pin your comment. But yeah, you got it, bro. That is instantly it. It is, like for me, it, it makes babysitting and helping other people just so much easier. This, this is good. Screen that has all the people that's going to be, oh, that's oh, okay, okay. You better keep this on permanently, Bunchy. I would love to be gold, bro. I would love to be gold permanently. I demand it. I don't care how long I'll have to do, bro. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will snort Sherpa. I will, I will snort the manifestation, the physical manifestation of Sherpa energy to get a gold guardian, bro. To get a gold guardian? That's it, bro. I will do anything, bro. I could be like, hello guys. I'll, I'll, no, I'll, I'll be like, I'll be like that white mom in soccer practice that gives you all like gummy gushers and gives you all like like granola bars, just because you're friends with the kid, right? And because of that, like it doesn't even matter what the kid does. You could, you all you have to do is tolerate him so that his mom comes through and brings y'all snacks and refreshments after your soccer game, bro. I I will I will manifest that. Okay, I will I will I will I will manifest that. I will manifest an Acura. I will in, into an existence if I have to in order to get this gold aura. Anyways, and if I'm me ranting. Coming. And if we want to survive. Witness these nuts, Scotty. We need a crew. We need a so quick pause. I do. Let me whip back. I know like this is a lot we've done before, but that's super. I feel it because I did. I did peek into the game. There's only two super so far. So I'm wondering if this is either like an amplifying super where you just amplify yourself and activate like damage abilities or is it just like like a plant down? I hope it's not a plant down or maybe it's just something you could maybe it's a super the same super but you could just hit it down directly and plant it because maybe it's um the melee. I don't know. Anyways. Yep, there we go. Okay. Bro, like, I'm so happy, bro. I'm like, I'm so happy, bro. Plunder the booty got like a season for himself, bro. I I'm so glad. Like, I can't wait next week for like a billion builds by him. All vault, bro. All art based. Because honestly, bro, you cannot sit here and tell me that this season is not dedicated to him, bro. Like they, they, like they, they got, they gave, they gave Plunder the Booty a season, bruh. I can't believe it. I'm just saying, bruh. <clears throat> like, congrats, Plunder the Booty. You got your season, bruh. He got a season. Hold up. You know what's crazy? He got a season before we got a Siva season. That's crazy. I'm just, let me play this thing. Let me roll the clip. Up in all this adventure. What? There you go, bro. Y'all got what y'all wanted, bro. Imagine, bro. Like y'all bullied, y'all bullied this man, and he still had the energy to come up and give you guys something. That is crazy. That is crazy. He 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 probably could have worded it better, no doubt. But like, damn, you guys were crazy with it. Like y'all really bullied a developer off Twitter, bro. I I can never forgive the community for that ever. I can not even the community, just y'all, some of y'all, bro. Just the small minority that did that consistently, bro. Because now we can't have a proper conversation no more. I'm gonna let it play again. For the little little gift. Let's go. King's Fall, bro. Everybody, I have not played. I have not played D, like D one King's Fall, so I'm very happy. Cause I look at the armor, bro. It looks sick, bro. It looks sick. I'm hoping um Touch of Malice. I think it was. I'm hoping I could play that. Like get that exotic. If not first try, like I'll farm for it, bro. One, two, three. Okay, I thought it was more than six. I was bugging out.
That ring goes absolutely hard, bro. Man, it is so awesome seeing King's Fall. Dude, free Gallarhorn. Free game. Like, I'm just saying. You know what they did, bro? Once again. Joe Blackburn was like, you know what, guys? No, no, no. He's like, hello, everyone. We wanted to present you guys Epic Game, the Epic Game Store, right? We wanted to Epic... No. You know what? No. Nah. Reset that. They wanted to do this, bro. Joe Blackburn was like, hey, guys. We welcome you guys in the Epic Game Store. We know that when you play Destiny, you actually need something to play. So here is the 30th anniversary for free. And he's just like... We first communed with the darkness on the moon to be fully playable, start to finish. And we're happy to announce today that we are not planning to sunset any more expansions. How long do you think they're going to keep that promise, though? How long are you going to think they're going to keep that promise for? Because they said no sunset in general. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna hold them to this, and I swear, if they do something stupid, I'm gonna replay that video. Remember when they said, remember, remember, bro. I wanna tell y'all, remember when they said, we're going to relook at TV feed with a new experience, bro. And the way that trials are released, bro, bro, they were spam playing that as a meme, bro. They would never, they would never live that down, bro. There are, there, I've still seen like those memes are like, oh, we're trying to renew the PvP experience. And I just, like, like you know, I just see patch note. We're trying to relive the new PvP experience. Patch note this, patch note that, patch note this. Trust me, bro. If they, if they go back on this promise, bro, I'm go I'm about to act up with these meme videos, bro. You will see, I will become the new forcer overnight. I will become the new forcer over days, okay? I'm really hyped, bro. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really hyped for this. Honestly, like for me, this better be for me a mix of Mirror's Edge with a slight, with not even a slight, just a slight touch of Cyberpunk 2077. All right, bro, just a slight touch and add, add the rest of the Destiny magic you guys got. Which Queen was a dub? Which Queen was an absolute dub? No debating this, no arguing with me. Which Queen was an absolute W? And it was a W across the board. How you get one million and the game hasn't been out yet? Your fan base trusts you that much and they delivered. What game can do that now? What game in this genre, this looter shooter genre, has done that so far?